Okay, we got a real nice, calm day. Beautiful, sunny skies. Blue skies. And we both just got GPS lock. And we can use that for our marker points right there. We're going to do a hover test first. There's like barely any wind right now. And uh, we can come back to those points also on the return to home calm wind test. And uh, those of you out there who are wondering, my GoPro is off. So there's no uh, additional interference on the uh, phantom side, which is the left side there. And uh, so we're going to arm them really quick. And just uh, to let you know, we uh, started up our quads at the same time we initially turned them on to try to get GPS lock. And the blade got GPS lock about two seconds earlier. Just for those of you that are wondering. Not that it means anything. Okay, so we're going to do a hover right now. And we're just going to let them sit there and let them do their GPS lock and uh, see how well they handle it with no wind. Okay, we got them both the same height now. We're just going to let them sit there and hover. No input from our sticks at all. And they're both, I think, doing an outstanding job. They're holding their column, they're holding their height. What more can you ask for? Okay, so we got GPS lock, and uh, we're going to go ahead and take off here and see how close it lands to that exact point right there. We're going to go out in the field, we're going to fly around a little bit, and we're going to zigzag up and down the field to some height and uh, let it come back on its own. And you can see how fast this thing just starts taking off and how fast it is. It responds to my commands. We're going to go down there real quick for a little bit, zigzag, freak out, and hit return to home. And you can see we are in return to home. And what's nice about the blade is it, it knows where it's at, and uh, it responds right away. As soon as you hit the return to home, it starts raising its elevation, and uh, it starts coming back immediately. It doesn't jerk around. I love it. I feel very confident with this chopper. So we can see just how accurate it is. So that's not bad, that's about four feet off I would say. Okay, so right away we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna cut it. And I'm going to put it back over here. Because it, it locks in its home position upon takeoff once you spin these rotors up. Arm it. And we're going to take off and fly around like crazy. You're probably going to stay in the same spot though. And uh... I just love how fast, I don't know, I just love how fast this one is. I mean, it gains altitude like crazy. We'll see how the Phantom is um, with altitude and all that stuff. Out of sight, you could almost say. Woo, look how high and fast it goes. That's not even full throttle. We're going to zigzag that way and freak out or turn to home. And you can see it really nice returning to home. I mean, it's way up there. But it, it, it's coming back right away. I don't know what that was. Oh, someone trying to start their car. 
Sound like a wild boar or something like that. Got scared for a second there. So we'll see the head, you know, it lands in about the same spot, you know, four feet off from the mark. Hopefully they don't land on my truck. It looks like it's going for that same spot. It really does. We are going to figure it out here in a second. Hopefully don't land the Phantom. Ooh, it's close to the Phantom. It's trying to bully it. Oh! So it's about the same thing. It, it, over here was four feet over here in this direction. And now it's four feet over here in this direction. It's like you go to angle and then you go out at an angle. So, it's, it's pretty darn accurate. I say about four feet. From right there to right there from that line. Now it's time for the Phantom. Okay, the Phantom also has GPS lock right there at that position. So we're gonna arm it, and we're gonna take off and go fly around. It's gonna be weird flying two different choppers. They got totally different characteristics. So, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take off. And we're just going to fly around a little bit. Up, down, left, right. Let's go down the field a little bit here. Let's go a little bit out of sight. Okay, I'm gonna hit return to home. You can see it got the signal. And the Phantom takes a little bit longer to come back. A little bit, as far as the reaction. Now you can see it's coming back to the actual spot with amazing speed. I mean, it's really fast the way it zips back in a horizontal line coming back towards the home point. So that right there is very impressive. It just has to think a little bit at first when uh, you initially hit return to home. And then when it gets back to the above the uh, home point, it hovers and corrects a little bit before it even starts dropping, unlike the blade. So we'll see with zero wind. I mean, there's zero wind right now just how accurate it is. Hold it, don't touch anything. We're gonna see, it's looking good so far. I mean, really good, like a foot off. We'll see. Man, this thing kicks a lot of wind. Yeah. That's pretty darn good. Better question is, can I do it again? Okay, I'm gonna go down field a little bit. Just to be fair. I think people are freaking out about my squad. We're gonna spin it on its axis. We're gonna go towards the river a little bit.
and I'm gonna hit return to home. I'm pretty far away, I got some good altitude, and I'm gonna hit it. There it goes, it just got signal, and it's coming back. You see it waits there, and now it's zooming back. Look how fast it's going back. Look at it, it's, it's just zooming back. It's not, it's not messing around. I kind of like that feature. Just in case you know you're getting low on battery, it's going to zoom back and get to that home point. It's starting to drop. And the same thing right now, maybe a mile per hour wind, maybe calm. It's, 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 that, it's that dead calm right now. So it's, it's uh, same conditions for the blade and, uh, and the Phantom. See, it got a little lower, and it's trying to hone in exactly on a position. Now it's satisfied, and it's coming down. We're going to see how accurate this one is. Now that one's a little bit closer to uh, how far away the blade was, about three, four feet. Either way, if you set your home point, it's coming back within a very, very reasonable area. That's very accurate. 